What if I told you that a small, unassuming bone fragment, no larger than your fingertip, could completely rewrite everything we thought we knew about human evolution? What if this tiny piece of ancient history revealed a groundbreaking story of how different human species not only created offspring together, but also created offspring together. This story called Collision by G.T. Fon. And here's the most astonishing part. This discovery wasn't immediately recognized. It sat unnoticed for years before the right pair of eyes realized its monumental importance. Before we dive into this incredible tale, I want to remind you to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you're as fascinated by the mysteries of human history as we are. Your support helps us uncover more amazing stories like this and share them with the world. And trust me, you don't want to miss what we're about to explore today. Now, let's unravel this mind-blowing story, starting with the discovery that shocked scientists to their core. It all began with the tiny bone fragment found in the Denisova Cave, a remote site nestled in Siberia's Altai Mountains. At first glance, it seemed like just another piece of an ancient skeleton, one of thousands of covered at the site. But this fragment belonged to a girl whose story would challenge everything we thought we knew about human evolution. Her DNA revealed a connection between Neanderthals and a mysterious group of ancient humans known as Denisovans. She wasn't just a descendant of these two groups. She was their direct child, the result of a first-generation union between two different species of humans. To understand just how extraordinary this is, let's take a step back and explore the world she lived in. Tens of thousands of years ago, Earth was home to multiple human species. Neanderthals roamed Europe and Western Asia, Denitovans inhabited parts of Siberia and Asia, and Homo sapiens, the direct ancestors of modern humans, um, were beginning to spread across the globe. For a long time, we believed these groups lived largely separate lives, occasionally crossing paths, but rarely mixing. That belief was about to change. The Denisova cave itself is a place of mystery and intrigue. It's where archaeologists first uncovered evidence of the Denisovans in 2008 a species of ancient humans previously unknown to science. Their discovery was a game changer, adding a new branch to our human family tree. But the Denisovans were elusive. Only a handful of their bones have ever been found, leaving scientists with more questions than answers. Fast forward to 2016. Samantha Brown, a graduate student at the University of Oxford, was tasked with analyzing over 2,000 tiny bone fragments from the cave. It was tedious work, but one particular fragment caught her attention. It was just two centimeters long, but its DNA revealed something astonishing. This wasn't just the bone of a Denisovan, it was the bone of a hybrid. The girl, later named Denny, had a Neanderthal mother and a Denisovan father. She was a living connection between two ancient lineages. For scientists, this was like finding a missing puzzle piece in the story of human evolution. Until then, evidence of interbreeding between Neanderthals and Denisovans had been limited to small traces of DNA in modern humans. Denny was proof that these two species not only met, but also had children together. And here's the kicker. 
This discovery was completely unexpected. Researchers at the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology in Germany were the first to confirm Brown's findings. They sequenced Denny's genome and discovered a perfect 50-50 split of Neanderthal and Denisovan DNA. This was no distant ancestor. This was a first-generation hybrid, a direct result of two species coming together. My first reaction was disbelief, admitted Viviane Sloan, one of the lead researchers. The chances of finding a hybrid this close to the source were astronomically low. So who was Denny and what was her life like? Based on the DNA analysis, scientists estimate that she lived around 900 zero, zero years ago and was about 13 years old when she died. Her skeletal structure suggested that she lived a physically demanding life, as was typical for humans over time. But beyond that, little is known. Her remains were so fragmented the scientists could only piece together small details about her existence. What's even more intriguing is what her DNA revealed about her parents. Her mother was a Neanderthal, and her mitochondrial DNA, a type of genetic material passed exclusively from mothers, showed that she was closely related to Neanderthals in Europe, far from the Denisova cave. Her father, a Denisova, also carried traces of Neanderthal ancestry, suggesting that interbreeding between these groups had occurred before. The discovery of Denny raises fascinating questions about how these two groups came together. Neanderthals and Denisovans lived in separate territories for most of their existence. Neanderthals dominated Europe and Western Asia, while Denisovans were found further east in Siberia and Asia. The Denisova cave located at the crossroads of these regions may have been a meeting point, a place where these species interacted, traded, and formed bonds. But here's where it gets even more interesting. Denny's DNA revealed a high level of heterozygosity, meaning her parents were genetically very different from each other. In fact, her mother's DNA was more closely related to Neanderthals in Croatia than to those near the Denisova cave. This suggests that Denny's parents came from vastly different regions, making their union even more remarkable. What does this mean for modern humans? Today, people of European and Asian descent carry small amounts of Neanderthal DNA, around 2% on average, in some populations, especially in Oceania, traces of Denisovan DNA can also be found, sometimes making up as much as 5% of a person's genome. These ancient interbreeding events have left a lasting legacy in our genes, influencing everything from our immune systems to our susceptibility to certain diseases. But Denny's story goes beyond genetics. It challenges the way we think about human evolution. For decades, scientists believed that interbreeding between ancient human species was rare, an exception rather than the rule. Denny proves otherwise. Her existence suggests that these interactions were more common than previously thought, especially in regions where different groups overlap. As remarkable as this discovery is, it's also a reminder of how much we still don't know. Denisovans remain one of the most mysterious branches of our human family tree. Despite their genetic contributions to modern humans, their physical appearance and way of life are still largely unknown. The discovery of Denny provides a tantalizing glimpse into their world, but it also raises new questions. How did these groups interact? What led to their eventual disappearance? And what other secrets might be hidden in the caves and fossils of our ancient past? The story of Denny is a testament to the complexity of human evolution. It shows us that our history is not a straight line, but a tangled web of connections and interactions. 
It reminds us that we are the product of countless moments of chance, survival, and adaptation. And most importantly, it challenges us to keep searching, questioning, and uncovering the stories that make us who we are. So what do you think? Does Denny's story change the way you see human history? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this journey through time, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more incredible stories. Together, we'll continue to explore the mysteries of our past and uncover the truths that shape our future.